Harry goes off the deep end after Meghan issues breaking off their marriage as Duke is useless now. Harry Windsor is not the man we thought he was, from throwing his entire family under the bus for a paycheck to his idiotic publicity stunts, Harry's likability is dwindling on a massive scale. I've seen reported that he's almost like a fish out of water. What's more, is Meghan is not a fish out of water. She is getting the life she always wanted as well as the platform she never achieved as plain old Meghan Markle, who was a nobody and untalented. However, as the Duchess of Sussex, it gives her the advantage she never had before. She has used her title on everything imaginable. Harry has never looked more miserable. He hasn't found his feet and seems to wander around Los Angeles, looking for something to occupy his time. Moreover, he claims he works, but how can he when he's constantly seen around Montecito? He claims that he has burned out and has to meditate while there's no one around. Right, I'll believe that when I see it. Though, there's one thing I don't get. How can he have burned out when he doesn't work? Furthermore, he doesn't know what to do with his time. We're sure Megan plays a big part in his meditation sessions. Being married to someone who micromanages everything in their lives must be exhausting. That brings me to an interesting video that Brittany of the Royal News Network posted. In her video, Brittany spoke about Harry seeming to be naive to what he walked into when he and Meghan moved to Los Angeles. She's correct in her observations. The idea of a move to Hollywood was too good to be true. The Sussexes had all these plans, well Meghan had plans to become as Brittany described, movers and shakers within Hollywood. However, this is Meghan's dream. Not Harry's. As Rachel Meghan Markle, she couldn't achieve a high level of success. She didn't have the talent nor the creative vision. However, as the Duchess of Sussex, the lack of talent and limited creative vision is exempt. Why? She now has a fancy title, and that's the only thing that matters. I say this a lot, but Harry's need for security and paranoia drives his unlikability. We've also seen his boredom at the Super Bowl. The reason he was there was because of better up and sunshine sacks. Gerdine is not rugby by any means. Anyone with a brain knows this. There were photos released of him in the locker room of the Rams, one of the teams playing. He looked downtrodden as if holding the trophy brought back a flood of memories about his time watching the rugby and being a patron of the English team, which is now Catherine's. There have been signs of what appears to be a fracture in the Sussex marriage. Now, I'm not making any of this up. I'm only reporting on what I've seen. So, we've been over the fish out of water stuff with Harry, and now, I wanted to address the clues that Meghan might be looking to split with Harry. I would never wish divorce or a breakup on a couple. But Harry always looks miserable. Let's look at the clues we've seen, shall we? So, with Harry being the fish out of water that he is, could he still have his blinders on to how his wife is using him? It's unclear what Harry is feeling. Though it's clear he's throwing a tantrum in a desperate bid to get security in the UK. The news is saying that he is suing the mail on Sunday because they hurt his feelings. Okay, this isn't what the headline said, but it is implied. According to Jack Royston of Newsweek, a known Sussex flying monkey, Harry is suing the mail on Sunday for libel, citing considerable distress. Going back to whether Meghan is looking to leave Harry, I'm still on the fence. Though, it would not be surprising if she were. There was that rumor where she allegedly tried to crack on to David Foster. Then Harry allegedly says it's not his, David's, fault he's attracted to younger women, and Meghan is hot. There's a whole bunch of other stuff, 